48 Hours correspondent Aaron Moriarty and CBS News legal analyst Jack Ford are both following this case. Welcome. Good morning, John. Uh, let me begin with you, Jack. Uh, can Andrew Young survive this kind of credibility test? Well, that's going to be a big question inside of the courtroom because they have ammunition to use against. You know, the jury's going to have to decide, is he telling the truth or not? They're going to come after him with all sorts of things. One of the things that the defense has here that you don't often have is a book. This guy has a book, and Aaron's there. Aaron, Aaron has Aaron it, too. Brings, I just happen right to here. have it here. Yeah. Well, because I've gone through it all. Yeah. And, you know, normally you don't have depositions in a criminal trial. So here they have this printed deposition, and there are real contradictions between one of the biggest ones was, and in fact I noticed that, was when he testified in direct, he said John Edwards was really concerned about these checks and he didn't want to know about them. And yet in the book, he specifically says on page 214, these funds and the money that came from Fred Barron were actually gifts and were entirely proper and were actually and were not subject to campaign finance laws. Okay, but so, my question you know, still is, can somebody lie and then get away with it well, and say... You, you can, if you can explain it away. You know, the best way to challenge somebody's credibility in a courtroom is to show that they've said other things in the past that are different here. Right. Sometimes you have an explanation for it. Uh, the question is, is the explanation he's giving here enough for the jurors to say, well, we're willing to buy into him. The defense is going to argue, look, you, this is what you say to him. You've lied in the past when it's been convenient for you, right? So that when it ha comes time for them to sum up their case, they can then say to the jury, is there any more convenient time for Andrew Young to lie than right now for his immunity deal? So that book gives the defense a great deal of ammunition. And against. it's complicated by the fact that actually Andrew Young, when he wrote this book, signed a document with his publisher saying that everything in the book was provably true. He signed that. So now you're going to say, were you telling the truth in the book, or are you telling now the truth right. when you're under oath? I mean, I think there's a real problem with credibility. Another big question that's going to be looked at here is, is what Elizabeth Edwards knew and when she knew it. How important is that to, that, to this case? Well, it, it's, it helps to, to give a, a perspective to all of this, because the defense is saying she knew really early on, and as a consequence, we're trying to protect her and to try and make sure that the humiliation level is not so bad. But that's, again, another one of those factual mm -hmm. issues that they're going to wrestle with. Aaron well, and Jack, thank you. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Thank you very much. <laughs>